Edward Roberts was born in 1941 in Miami, Florida. His father ran an appliance repair business at the time, and he himself was fascinated with electronics as a hobbyist. Although he wanted to get into medicine, he ultimately became educated in engineering and electronics. This was to support his then pregnant wife as he was married during university. Ed Roberts joined the Air Force in 1962, who supported him in earning his engineering degree from Oklahoma State University. Upon graduating, he was stationed in Albuquerque, New Mexico. There he formed MITS, or Micro-Instrumental and Telemetry Systems, a business specialized in electronic kits, particularly model planes and rockets. MITS would later branch out to sell other electronic devices, such as calculators, just as the 70s market for consumer electronics crashed. However, the experience in manufacturing calculators allowed Ed Roberts to touch upon the microprocessor, chips made to fit into smaller, compared to the contemporary designs at the time, devices. Negotiating and arranging deals with companies such as Intel, MITS would produce the Altair 8800, the first commercially available computer kit, assembly required of course. The Altair was best described as a switch box, with switches acting as analog inputs and lights for display. Programming such a device was tedious, as every bit needed to be programmed to the tune of nine switches before entering. Needless to say, it wasn't something the average person wanted. Still, it sparked the beginning of computers as a whole. Roberts has made and sold the means. People just need to figure out to what end they wanted. BASIC was loaded into it to give it a language to understand by some employees named Bill Gates and Paul Allen. This development of software from a microprocessor would give the name to Microsoft, now with a dropped hyphen. It created an aftermarket for parts to make the usage practical. Entire tech clubs had formed to discuss and tinker with the box, trying to figure out the hole this puzzle piece fit in. Eventually, people would begin to consolidate these newest developments into first iterations of what we today see as the modern PC, with an installed CPU, monitor, and keyboard.